Hello everyone, Code Zombie here with another episode of Code Zombie Tutorials. In this session, I'm going to talk about WSL. Recently, on Microsoft's developers blog, on Microsoft's website, uh, an engineer called Craig announced the release of WSL 2. So, what is WSL? Uh, interestingly, and interestingly for me especially, uh, WSL2 is a Linux subsystem to run on Windows. So, with this technology, Microsoft is essentially bringing uh, Linux to the Windows environment and bringing more comfort to, uh, say, developers that are relying on uh, cross-platform tools like Docker to sh uh, deploy their uh, tools to deploy their software. So uh, this is called uh, this is called WSL2. What this means is that there was a former version of WSL that uh, was a little slower had some um, disadvantages and this one uh, as they say in this article as Craig says in this article is more performant is faster uh, and that's uh, because of uh, the fact that uh, Microsoft is shipping a real kernel see here it's shipping a real kernel in this version of WSL so it's uh, much faster and another thing with this release is that they are uh, in fact making it fully compatible with system calls in the earlier version WSL the original WSL Microsoft actually translated the calls uh, when you for example uh, wanted to do an IO it translated the calls to a Linux system call but in WSL2 it is using a real kernel so the I guess they are native calls and they are not translated anymore and also another thing to mention about WSL2 is that it is built with uh, kernel 4.9 uh, I guess Initially, it uh, 4.19. Sorry, uh, it is shipped. It is shipping kernel 4.19 in its initial release, and maybe the, later on they will move to uh, kernel 5, which uh, has has been out for two months or so, I guess. Uh, so. WSL2 is excellent. It's uh, you see a demo of running uh, a Docker image of Ubuntu here, and it's showing a timer showing how fast it is compared to its uh, former counterpart. As they say, it's 20x. 20 times faster compared to WSL1 when unpacking a zipped tarball and around 2 to 5 times faster when using git clone, npm install and cmake on various projects. So as I said, uh, the speed has significantly improved in this version. Personally, currently I'm not using Windows, but for those Windows developers who love Linux tools and uh, cross-platform tools for development, for deployment like Docker, etc., I think this is a good surprise and they will find it very useful. Okay, now let's check out some of the tweets regarding WSL. I have already searched WSL on Twitter and here we see 
the first tweet, more WSL2 details. The Linux kernel is, in fact, I guess they have. Uh, he has forgotten to add fact. A thin hypervisor container using 9p to connect to the Windows environment. So uh, it connects to the Windows environment, but in fact it is Linux. So no uh, bulky translations, no bulky system call translations. It is a real Linux running besides Windows, I guess. It has its own XT4 file system, so it even uses a Linux file system in a mounted VHD, shipping in Insider builds in June. So if you are an Insider user on Windows, I guess you can get this release in June. But if you are a regular user, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Another tweet says, we're so glad to announce the newest architecture for WSL, WSL2. You can read all the details for it here. Again, this is running a Docker here in interactive mode, the image Alpine Ash. And you see a demo of running the also, interestingly, there's a video of the announcement. Let's see what it says. Two years ago, back here, Bill, and since then, over 3.5 million developers use it on a regular basis. And we're excited today to announce the next version we call WSL2. What we're doing with WSL2 is dramatically improving performance, specifically around file layout. So if you're doing a compile or git clone, git repo clone, So as I said, in this video you see that uh, the important point is uh, in performance in WSL2, performance in I.O. for example, especially in I.O. like compiling software and doing git clone. Another tweet, Microsoft loves Linux. I have heard this for a couple of times. Whatever Microsoft is paying rich turn MS and the rest of the folks working on WSL, they need to triple it. They're single-handedly turning Windows into the best platform for modern development. Really? WSL2 plus VS Code's remote development is going to be awesome. So I have used VS Code. It's an... Uh, it's a code editor and there seems to be a tool called remote development. I haven't tried it and it's going to be a good add-on with WSL2, a good couple with WSL2. And according to this tweet, it is going to be awesome. Another interesting tweet here from XDA, XDA developers. It says, Microsoft announces Windows Terminal, a new customizable command line with tabs and WSL2. So I guess this is going to be a, an advanced terminal out of the experience Microsoft had with uh, CMD and Windows Shell, uh, PowerShell, sorry, and also with Linux family terminals. So it is combined and come out as Windows Terminal. This is the first thing I'm reading about this. So this is uh, probably going to be interesting. Okay guys, so uh, basically we talked about WSL, not many technical details. I just uh, scratched the surface. Uh, personally, I haven't used it, but I think it's going to be interesting to try. If you are on Windows, give it a try on June. It will be in Insider Builds, and you can try it. 
if you want to dive more into Linux stuff, for especially Docker stuff. And if you are a developer, by the way. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, give a heart or a thumbs, thumbs up or thumb, thumbs. Yes, give it a thumbs up to my video. Thanks, guys.